And welcome back to the Now Morning Show as we get started for another one of these very informative interviews and something that's geared towards the children as red as well. It's all about, I'm reading Ride That and that's why I'm thinking red because it's called Ride That 2023. It's a run ride that's going to take place on Sunday, the 5th of November. And if you want to get in touch with them, I'll tell you right now, www.diabetes.tt.org. And with me, I do have in studio, um, Roberta Robertson, who is actually the diabetes of the Diabetes Youth Branch. Good morning to you. Good morning, thank you for having me. <laughs> and on the line, we've got the president of the Diabetes Association of Trinidad and Tobago, Andrew Danu. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having us. It's a pleasure to have you, especially when we're talking diabetes, because we need to get some more information on it. We need to know about diabetes, and especially when it affects children. We need to be even more diligent. So thank you both for taking the time for telling us about this. As we get started with... Basically, this is geared towards type 1 diabetes. Correct. So, Andrew Danu, maybe you can start with us to give us a little bit of information of exactly what is type 1 diabetes. So, people who may not know and not sure about what it is, exactly what is type 1 diabetes? Sure. So, type 1 diabetes is uh, one of the rarer forms of diabetes, and it's the type of diabetes that we would refer to as an autoimmune disease. Um, it's typical, it's typical onset is in children, so very early on. So you would see it um, at, at the very start of, of probably a few months old, even into your 20s, you could develop type 1 diabetes. And this is, of course, not because of the typical uh, risk factors that we would associate with diabetes, like um, poor, poor exercise, well, lack of exercise and poor diet and, and increased weight. Um, this, this is autoimmune. And, and for these children who develop type 1 diabetes, it's really through no fault of their own or their parents. And um, it, it, we really don't know why type 1 diabetes occur. I mean, scientists around the world speculate that it may be due to viral infections. It may be due to, to genetics, maybe due to environment. We really don't know. Nowhere, nowhere, nowhere in the world do we know. However, we do know that children develop type 1 diabetes. Uh, type 1 diabetes is insulin dependent, which means that these children uh, need to take insulin to survive. Um, they need to take insulin daily to survive. And on top of that, they need to measure their blood sugars, uh, measure their blood sugars more than most other children. So sometimes up to 10 times a day, up to 15 times a day, they may have to stick their fingers. So this is why we're having this ride, because we, we, the ride is an aid of getting our continuous glucose monitors, which we've launched earlier this year at the association for these children, which will really empower them to take better care of themselves. No more sticking their finger. Uh, that's the patch on their arm, and they're going to be getting that continuous glucose reading. Parents will be getting con continuous glucose readings as well. So it's really life-changing for them, and we really need the funds to support these children. Okay, now this is really to raise some money to get those CGM, as they call them, devices. So exactly what are CGM devices and how can they help? I know uh, Mr. Danu actually spoke a little bit about it, but if you can tell us a little bit more, and I'm talking about um, uh, Ms. Roberta Robertson, um, you are the diabetes of the Diabetes Youth Branch. Tell us a little bit more about these CGM devices and how they can assist these young children. Okay. So these CGM devices allow the parents and the children, the older ones, to monitor their blood sugar levels continuously throughout the day. As Mr. Danu mentioned, sometimes kids have to mm -hmm. finger stick up to 15 times a day to check their blood sugar. With this device, it's a patch that's ad adhered onto your skin. It's connected to your cell phone. So the child has to have the cell phone within range and then their parent, wherever the parent is, they will get it as well. So it, it will alert you to highs and lows if your blood sugar is stable. One of the um, features, for lack of a better word, of type 1 diabetes in children, they tend to run low overnight. Running yeah. low can actually lead to comas right. and whatnot. So you have parents, it's standard. They're up every two hours checking their child's blood sugar, looking to make sure they're breathing. With these devices, you can actually set alarms so if the child's blood sugar is dipping low, your phone will alarm and wake you up rather than you having to wake up constantly throughout the night to check. About how much do these devices cost? Because I know this is a, a run that uh, for the purchase of these devices. They're like 
They sound like they're, they're a little bit in the, the expensive side, <laughs> costly side. The one we have been able to procure actually is quite affordable when compared to the standard ones. Okay. So this will run a family, it's still exorbitant, about $15,000 a year. Because you have the transmitter and then you have the, the, um, the patches. patches, which you have to change every 10 days. Okay. So it will run about $15,000 a year. And so, that's just one expense a type 1 diabetic mm -hmm. has. You still have your insulin and your needles and whatnot. So tell me then, uh, Mr. Danu, what is going to be happening on the <coughs> 5th of November? Sure. So on the 5th of November, we have in the, 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 our, our, our fun ride. Um, it starts at the Shogunas Borough Corporation. Um, it goes down to Kuva, goes down to Pibdeco in, in, in Point Lisas, and then back up. Um, the ride is a 50-kilometer ride, and of course, um, the ride is designed for both uh, novices and advanced riders. Uh, last year, we would have started the ride, and we had it on the same day as our 5K. That's run that. So we actually split it this year to give more focus to to the children um, with the cause and, and really raising the funds for the CGMs. So we have the ride on the 5th of November, which is that Sunday, that first Sunday of November. November being Diabetes Awareness Month, and that's why we, we, we have all of these activities in November. So all registrants um, are going to be getting this really nice commemorative medal, uh, a lot of activities there at the Shogunas Borough Corporation. You get testing, refreshments at the stops. Um, to, to register, you, when, well, adults pay 150 um, children pay 100 and if you're a DAC member, it's 140 and $90. Um, registration can be done at the Diabetes Association head office. Registration can be done at Granny Gay, at Central Spokes. Um, even online, you could visit um, bit.ly slash ride that 2023, or ride that 23 rather. And you can get more information on the Diabetes Association social media pages on our Facebook on our Instagram, just search for the Diabetes Association. We get lots of information about both Ride That and Run That. We want persons here to really register for both. Even if you do have a bike, you could, you could rent one. Even if you do have, um, you know, if you're not a professional rider, you could come and participate still and support because, of course, all funds raised for this Ride That activity is going to go towards the purchase of CGM. Um, is there an age limit? What's the age limit for riders? Because if it's geared towards children, I would want to think that children may want to be involved as well. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Children but, can be involved. Yeah. And when you say ride that, because of the whole <laughs> terminal, because it's so, you know, local as well, you know, I'm not just thinking bicycles. I'm, I don't know for what, I'm just thinking because the children involved, you know, even maybe a tricycle or, you know, anything that they could probably ride. So you ride that. In they the can, and children don't actually have to go on the route if they're not comfortable. They can ride along the inside yeah. of the borough corporation, just as a whole part of the fun day itself. Yeah. yeah, and that is just actually acronym for Diabetes Association, Association of Trinidad and Tobago. <laughs> yes, it yeah. is. But I like how you you, you play on it. Yeah, ride, ride that, that and ride that. So it's both ride Diabetes Association of Trinidad and Tobago and ride that as well. <laughs> <laughs> now, how much money are you expecting to raise from this venture? Well, our, our overall target is to raise about two point five million dollars. We know this venture won't. What it will do is one raise awareness of type one diabetes. And two, it will also, we are also trying to encourage corporate Trinidad and Tobago to donate as well. So even if it is you're not participating in the ride, there is an option to donate as well. Okay. Yep. And Mr. Danu, are there any other ventures? Because this is one part of it. And, you know, as Ms. Robertson said, it's not necessarily going to raise the amount of money that you want, but it will be a start. Are there other ventures mm -hmm. that are going to be coming up to help offset that cost of $2.5 million? Oh. So, so there are lots planned, and uh, we have a lot more. We have a long way to get there. Um, but as Roberta said, we're going to be reaching out to corporate Trinidad and Tobago and private citizens as well, because you could donate. You could donate fifteen thousand dollars. Could change the life of a child. Um, this could save a child's life, and 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 it's extremely scary to see how how debilitating type one diabetes could be if it's not taken care of, and especially in the short term if your blood sugar goes very low. All of the parents, you know, and, and we have about 150 children that we know of with type 1 diabetes, and we have this group, and Roberta, the head of the group, um, Roberta being a parent as well, 
um, they know how difficult it is to, to see a child or to live with a child living with type 1 diabetes. Uh, so, so we have all of these activities coming up. We're going to be also selling. We, we actually sell the CGM, so members of the public living with diabetes. If you're not living with diabetes and you want to try a CGM, you can purchase a CGM from us at the association, and the profits from the sales actually are going to go into getting more CGMs for children. Uh, as Roberta said, we're going to be reaching out to corporate Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, around Christmas time, we're going to have a, a cinema show. Uh, we have lots of other activities in schools. We're going to be reaching out to children to actually help raise funds within their schools and make it into a competition. So we really have a lot of activities coming up, the first of which is the ride that. Uh, so we want persons to really, you know, if you do ride um, for recreation, if it is that you have a, you're part of a club, if it is that you're just have a bicycle, or you, you want to you want to ride, you just want to come out and support <laughs> yeah. and the opportunity too. And don't forget, it's Ride That 2023. It's a run ride Sunday, the 5th of November. And you can get in touch with the Diabetes Association as well at www.diabetes-tt.org at um, Diabetes TT as well. So you can get in touch with them with respect to that. What about other training programs? Because it's just 150 children, basically, that this is targeting. But I'm sure that there are others out there that maybe parents are not even aware that their children have um, type 1 diabetes, which is, of course, children type diabetes and require insulin. How do you go about informing and, you know, giving this information out and educating parents and looking to, to, to know what to look for with respect to type 1 diabetes. What is it that you can do? And how can parents notice something is not going on too right with this child? You know, maybe I need to take them to the doctor because the energy levels are just, you know, what can we do? Okay, so um, many children, when they're first diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, it's at a stage where they actually have what is called diabetic ketoacidosis. Sugar levels have built up so much. What you can look for, frequent urination, um, extra hunger and thirst. But thirst you have to be careful with because it's so hot these days. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, some may have loss of weight, right? but a key one, let me speak for me, because my child is type 1 diabetic, it was frequent urination. Uh -huh. That was, that was a, a trigger for me. He became really ill, he was throwing up, and as a parent, you know your child. You can look at them and say, okay, this is not a flu, something is going on here, you need to take them in. When he was taken in, he was rushed to emergency immediately. Yes. So at least you were diligent, you saw it, and you were able to pick it up. And um, we need more parents to do the same as well. You know your child, and you know when something changes in your child. So be proactive and take them to the doctor, as you did. Which is why we're going to do the schools program, where we'll be educating Good. the students and the teachers Good. as well. Because one of the issues we have are teachers not being aware of it and not knowing how to deal with the right. children. So it'll be a holistic thing. Brilliant. Thank you so very much. And I want to thank you for coming to tell us all about it. That's uh, Roberta Robertson. She is the Diabetes chair. Youth Branch. The yeah, chair, chair of the Diabetes, of the Diabetes Youth Support Youth Branch. Youth, Youth Support Branch. And as well, Andrew Danu, the president of the Diabetes Association of Trinidad and Tobago, telling us all about Ride That 2023. It's a run ride. It's happening Sunday, the 5th it's of November, November, which is World Diabetes Month as well. And you can get in touch with them if you like at www.diabetes-tt.org or at Diabetes TT. It's all for a good venture to raise money for these young children. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Just call me, call me, darling. Give me a little sugar in the morning.